Good day, friends. It is me, H.L. Montek, and 8th grader Mason had a breakthrough while he was making his car. I'm going to share it with you, so let's get cracking. Friends, I've got an absolute beginner car tutorial, and a lot of times when people work on it, they're like, hey, your car is too blocky. Well, 8th grader Mason was one of those students, and he has been working on this to turn it into this sweet Mustang GT500. Oh my gosh, so fun to watch this come together. It's all been guess, check, trial and error, and let me show you what he's come up with. So first, he took the body of his design, and he's got a radius of 4.48, which gives it this nice rounded texture. He stretched it to the size he wanted, and then he came to the back, and he started using a radius of 5.63. Once again, the steps are round. I'm gonna hide this body for just a minute so you can see underneath. He's got sloped pieces with this same 5.86, so it's all guess and check as he gets his car lined up the way he wanted. Also here, friends, check this out. This is a part that's gonna cut it out. Notice it's got the rounded 2.41, so it cuts in this back at an angle. He's using a triangle to cut this slope. I'll show that with green. And then I'm going to hide this one because it's a later cut. And you can see he's cutting out the windshield here. I'll make this a blue. If we hide this part right here, underneath, you can see he is also cutting out the interior. That's how it all comes together. So real quickly, I'm going to turn these back into holes. There's a shift select, shift select, shift select. And now it's a hole. If we do show all, and then I'm going to lock the tires so that they don't, get grouped with it. Watch how sweet this turns out. Friends, this is the body of the sweet Mustang, all using cubes with somewhere around the five radius. Because it is still a work in progress, I just wanted to share with you quickly how slick it was, so you can also get to work trying to make your own awesome car bodies. Mason, thank you so much for all your experimentation and taking the time to share it with us. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.